What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Obi-Wan of the Transformers Universe, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Iron Factory Alpha Trion, known as the Last Prophet. This is on loan to me from Robert D, and I think it's actually the last Robert D loaner I am currently in possession of. How exciting! Hopefully I'll be able to get some of this stuff back to him. That being said, we're going to talk about this guy first. We're going to do the transformation the opposite way, because this is a reuse of the Scourge mold that we've already looked at and shown that transformation. So we'll show it in reverse, and then if something should ever come out that uses the same mold again, we just skip the transformation altogether. That's how we roll over. But in order to look at this guy, we got to start with accessories. And in order to start with accessories, we got to start with hands. He comes with an array of hands. We have two closed holding hands left and right, two open hands left and right, and two open holding hands left and right. And that's in addition to the two fist hands that you saw or will see rather as we get to the figure. He comes with an adapter that you can utilize for the vehicle modes that you could place it on a stand. Um, it would be nice if they included the stand as well, but you know what beggars can't be choosers, I guess. And that will slide in underneath here if you want to ut utilize it. If you have the stand, you can put it right in there. And lastly, he comes with his staff. It is beautifully sculpted with nice silver accents along the way, as well as this turquoise bit in there, which is kind of, you know, reminiscent of the Matrix symbol. Very smart, very clever stuff. Looks fantastic. He can hold it with his open holding hand right here at the top in this little, this little bit there. Or you can take it and where he can hold it there, you separate it. And then you can take one of his closed holding hands and... Oof, not a good feeling. I'm not going to push it. Um, wait, that, that's fitting a little better. Not great, buddy. Um, I'm not comfortable. But theoretically, if you pushed it... Oh, should I do it? It's Roberts. He won't... There. Oh, there, that's as far as I'm going to go. There it is. At least you can see how it works. So here is the vehicle mode. And I think the most glaring uh, problem here is a little peekaboo action we got going on. Um, I do like the little silver accents. I think that the purples look great. I think the overall shape actually perhaps works better for an Alpha Trial than it does for their, their actual scourge and sweeps. I'm just going to show this real quick. Um, there's nothing really to talk about. I'll show you real quick next to Tiger Tracks so that we get that out of the way. And then more importantly... I don't like this. I don't like this head here at all. I'm going to show you a couple different options. You can just move this whole red piece back, and now you have that look, which I think is better. Or you can move the red piece up. You can see the goatee fits in that little slot there. Move the head back, spin the head around, and then you can tuck the head. Oh, it came off the ball peg. Um, but you can tuck the head around. there to the bottom especially if you're going to utilize the stand it covers up the eyes and i think ends up looking a little bit better um i don't know that's my opinion anyway all right so let's get him transformed obviously i'm doing this with the the head already spun around right we already showed how to do that uh hopefully you can do it without popping it off the ball peg let's see what else we can do all right these sh shoulder pads here you can untab them from the sides and we can untab the wings from the bottom on both sides. Spin those around to the back. You can manipulate this on a double hinge up the entire backpack just to get some space. Untab the legs from one another. Combiner wars them down. Rotate the fruit to the bottom. The one has the heel spur. Flip that around to the back. And then the other, the both feet have these like toe spikes. Flip those around to the front. It's a very kind of simple, straightforward transformation. These panels here, flip up, flip in, flip down, flip up, flip in, flip down. Just move your arms out to the side. We have these two pegs here on the backpack. They go into those two ports on his back, rotate up on the double hinge to sort that out. They're very significant 
um, connection. So just be mindful when you're uh, plugging them in or taking them out to go to the other mode that they're just significant pegs to overcome. Collapse the wings down on his back. Rotate the legs to the inside. I'll clean them up. We'll take a look at them. So let's take a look at the figure and we'll get in tight for the head sculpt, which I think is fair. I think it's in the Iron Factory tradition and I think it still looks true to the character. Uh, I dig it. We have metallic blue paint for the eyes and silver paint in there as well as I think some white paint um, and purple paint. Heads on a ball peg, you get the swivel, you get a good bit up slightest bit down and a little confused look there so I, I dig it overall I think it's fairly effective um, obviously the wings here you can sort of style a bit as you see fit as well I think that goes without saying all right so then we have the shoulders so the shoulders are on a ball peg the ball peg is on a hinge so you can get it up to a, a little shy maybe oh no 90 degrees there he is and then you have a bicep swivel you have an elbow hinge that gets you slightly more than 90 degrees and has a little bit of a continued through sculpt, which I think is nice. Some silver accents, and the hands are on little ball pegs. And we have silver accents here and here. So all of that works fairly well. And on the chest. And, I mean, I, I do like how all the pink and purple paint comes through on his wings as well. We have a waist swivel, an ab crunch, and... I talked about the silver paint on his chest. Cool. All right. Hip skirts, they get up and out of the way for your T-jointed ball joints for pretty much the full Van Dam. And let's see if we can get these out of the way. Can we get these out of the way? Are they locked in place? Looks like they might be locked in place. Uh, forward and back to there, but I think that's more than enough. Thigh swivel. Single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees. A couple paint accents on the knees and on the side of the legs, as well as the red on the feet. Ankles are on ball pegs, get you an ankle tilt up. A nice ankle tilt down, and the slightest bit of a rocker. And there he is from the back. Pretty well done little unit. Size comparison wise, there he is with Iron Factory's Tarn. So I think that that fits properly. There he is with New Age, Megatron, and Optimus. And I think that he'll actually fit, you know, because he was always a Cybertronian character. So I think that if you wanted him in your G1 collection, it would work. Because I have him handy, there he is with the Magic Square Prime. <clears throat> and for the sake of tradition, there he is with the Old School Iron Factory Scale Blaster and a Hasbro Stunicon Legends figure. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. Um, once again, there's these couple little things with the Iron Factory recently I've been noticing, and we've talked about this before with the Scourge mold, obviously, but just some stuff that's not pegging in right. Like the, not, 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 not that it's not pegging in right, not that it's not pegging in properly, but that it's really not pegging in at all. And that is uh, like the backpack when you rotate it down, there's not really a place for it to properly sit. It just sort of sits there. Um, not the biggest deal in the world here. I've just been pointing it out recently, so I'm going to point it out again. Um, the only other real issue that I have with this guy is that the, staff doesn't fit into his hand properly the closed hand and then the last thing that i have is that the the head doesn't translate as well in alt mode so to speak as it does with scourge so um that's something to be mindful of as well uh, hopefully the options that i showed if you didn't like it either will help you and if you don't like those either then i got news for you nothing's gonna nothing's gonna fix it i also think they should provide the flight stand i think that's not too much to ask and i also think that you shouldn't have to sacrifice your flight stand on another figure just to pull off the flight stand for this figure that's just my opinion man far more positives than negatives though i love the hand accessories the staff is beautiful and i also think that the matrix being carved into it or you know sculpted into it was a really smart clever idea that suits the character i'm not sure if that's been done before it's a good chance that it has been but if it hasn't good on them for it the materials feel good there's plenty of paint accents i think the sculpt works really well and i think that honestly a lot of this works better for alpha trion than it does for scourge the one exception being where the head fits in to the alt mode but the rest of it i think works really well the paint the sculpt the build the materials the articulation the transformation etc etc so yeah strong recommend for me thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care